Welcome back, folks. Take a look over here. This is the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman. Again, I've sung my praises about this, uh, or rather sung Basil's praises about this um, newsletter. It's fantastic, seriously. Goes in depth, um, but it's concise as well. He had a, a subscriber webinar August 23rd. So when you subscribed it to any newsletter, right, uh, you get access to the archived subscriber webinars. It's awesome. If you're just getting into trading, these are phenomenal. If you're interested in uh, one host or the other, you get a better insight. And Basil's webinar was fantastic. Again, that is a 30-day money-back guarantee if you are a first-time subscriber. I strongly recommend checking out the opening call. Basil, are you with us? I am. Hi. How are you, Jake? I'm doing well. How was your Labor Day weekend? Well, the Labor Day, yeah, it's all too quick. It's actually the first three-day weekend I can remember that we've had sunshine all the way through the weekend. In fact, the first weekend, they didn't, we didn't have one day of the weekend with a big storm and the next day nice. Right. So this was a pleasure, and I'm just upset because for us, it's pretty much over. Summer, you know, the 90-degree weather will have some this week, and then afterwards it's just downhill. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, coming out of the hurricane, it was nice having some good weather. We had a uh, cold front, but for Florida, that was like, you know, 88 or something like that. Right. Uh, yeah, but it was very nice. So used, The body gets used to the temperatures. It might sound to someone else like, wow, that's warm. But when you get used to something and it changes, well, it, makes, that's right. it, it has its effect. Yeah. That's right. You got to be adaptable, right? Absolutely. So, Basil, what are we looking at today? So, talk about adaptable. This is what we're looking at here. Within the well, first of all, let me just uh, go, give you a just brief synopsis of where I am for my subscribers to opening call. We did go short the Dow using some of the techniques, or at least one particular technique, uh, to get the high of the first of August at thirty-five thousand six seventy-nine. So, right there, we went short, and we are short the SMHs, the semiconductors from two days after the high, about a point and a half off the uh, all-time high, and we had real nice trades down to the uh, uh, 143.35 low, and we were using the SOXS, the short side of the uh, three times short, so we kept the core position, we've taken a little bit off, and then we've taken, a lot, we've taken everything off the short side in the aggressive 300%. Uh, short. So we're watching this to see. Now, the, you know, we're talking about uh, adaptability. Well, I like to think that the SMH is the semiconductor chips, the semiconductor chips itself. If you think of chips in the 21st century as the crude oil of the 1900s, right. because they're everything, uh, not everything, but just about everything had to do with petroleum products. So now almost everything has to, anything that moves has to do with semiconductors. So I, my contention is that where the semiconductors go, basically the market is going to go in that direction. So there, it made an all-time high. That was a good good clue. We, we've had really good rallies in the different indices. But this stalling formation that started in July, I think it's going to continue a little while longer with sporadic bumps to the upside. So in that regard, the semiconductors are saying, hey, don't think that it's all over now. We're, we're still showing some strength. And in that, that regard, I'm using that kind of as a benchmark to say we're in for a very choppy week. Uh, that's what I see to subscribers on Friday. And then in my, for my subscribers, I do a, a one-hour uh, a, a video either Saturday or Sunday uh, just going uh, what's happened, what I'm expecting, the different indices, what's, what positions we have, how we're handling, et cetera. So it's, it's an educational as well as a very practical experience. So within that context, so going back to the, um, let me just do this right now, going back to the Dow, um, you can see this has been a very good rally off the low, 34,028, but it's stalled at this trend line. So this is another yeah. technique. In my show tomorrow, in my Tiger Technician Hour, I'll talk about some of these patterns that I talk about, the falling axis, the declining cone formation, how you get into the inside track resistance area, and you can see the S&P has done much better. It's broken out of that resistance level, right. and it's just stalling here. So, but I like to look at different time frames, and if you look at this daily time frame on the left, it's very different to the weekly. The weekly is still very strong. I use something called the nine-period moving average over the 14, and look how high it is above the 14, and that shows strength. Even the Dow, which is one of the weaker indices at this, well, except for the IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps, look, 
it's still holding pretty well in the weekly chart. I don't want to talk about the monthlies. I'll do that on my show tomorrow, but the sure. monthlies are also holding quite well. So what I do, I like to, for my subscribers, I like to get stocks or e ETFs or whatever it is. And if I can get them really low priced, it, it allows subscribers who say, you know, I don't want to put a lot of money to work, but I do want to be involved in whatever it is that's moving in the, in the direction, at least the direction that uh, shows some uh, strength to the upside or weakness to the downside. So we have a, a stock, and it's interesting because you can see how the crude oil has been moving higher and higher, but we have something in the energy sector, uranium energy coal. Awesome. So we, we're in that at $3.46 a, a little while ago, and here it is today. It's four dollars and seventy two cents. I mean, that's twenty five or twenty twenty six seven percent uh, increase. But what's nice is you've got a stock acting very well. You've got a stock in the daily, weekly and monthly charts improving. There are techniques that I use. This is cup formation. And this particular pattern says you see this dash midline. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the left side number of bars to the right side number of bars, Look how we went to that four thirty four dollars and thirty cent goal of uh, earlier this year in almost the same time frame. Number of bars to the left to the downside, and number of bars to the right. And then I have another technique called the Champ Wave Cup and Ladle. It's a breakout pattern. It's not the cup and handle that stops at the left side lift. This says in leg C or B, you go straight through that left side lip, and that's the lip on this side right here at four dollars and thirty cents. The week of the uh, here we go, week of the third of fe uh, February, we broke out of it sharply in this leg C. So that suggests that four thirty is a support level, and that we should go to at least another higher peak. So this is leg C. At some point, we should make a lower high that makes a peak C. And then we should go to a leg D. So that's another technique that I use. So I like to put all these different techniques together so that what we're doing is we're following a, a game plan. Mm. And that's the case here. No, and I, I think that's what's so good about your newsletter, right? Like, you know, at least for me, like starting to work here, um, I was a novice regarding, you know, any kind of trading and especially, especially technical analysis. And, and really, I mean, just how you explained it there, right? It's explained exactly like that, too in your webinars, on your show, in the newsletter, and it's something you can follow through, you know? I think also getting exposure to something like uranium, which, you know, isn't, doesn't get looked at a lot, still very, like, fascinating kind of commodity, right? I, I mean, it's just, uh, I think it's awesome. And that was really insightful, too, about the semiconductors as well. I think looking Thank at you. that as, like, an indicator going on is, is massive, because you're right. Without tech, and, I mean, what is tech, right? It runs on these semiconductors. You don't have anything that this world's built on, you know? That's really That's fascinating right. and, stuff. And the interesting thing is we don't know yet whether we're about to have a glut because, you know, all of last, over the last 18 months, they've been building fabs and they've been producing the chips. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a very interesting September and October. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Basil, if you can, stay with us just for a little bit. And uh, folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Sure. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord.